Welcome to Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram, where we travel Queensland's first light rail system and discover the exciting science and engineering challenges that the project team have encountered to bring the system to life. Did you know that every time you run, skip or jump, you experience gravity? Curtis has more on this story. Thanks Libby. Gravity is the force that pulls you back down to Earth. It causes two objects to be drawn to one another. Without gravity, all the matter in the Earth will be floating around in the atmosphere. We can see gravity at work each and every day. The way the sea rolls in, throw a ball in the playground, or when we drop a pencil. Gravity even keeps the moon in its orbit around the Earth. But gravity is only one of the many forces acting on matter in our atmosphere. Forces push and pull on matter. There are two classifications of forces, fundamental and non-fundamental. Fundamental forces include gravitational force, electromagnetic force and strong and weak forces at the atomic level. All non-fundamental forces are made up of interactions between the fundamental forces and include normal force, centripetal force, friction, elastic force, tension and torque. Scientists and engineers do lots of research and study to understand the way these forces interact and develop formulas on how to use them to their advantage when they construct buildings and machines like the Gold Coast Light Rail. One big challenge that the light rail engineers had to overcome was one faced by most rail systems all over the world, friction. In lots of other forms of transport, friction is something that engineers try to avoid to save energy. But for the Gold Coast light rail, it is essential to get the trams to move. The light rail has been designed as an adhesion railway. This means it relies on friction between the wheels and the tracks to move. When the tram is stationary, gravity pushes the tram down onto the rails. A normal force stops the tram from being pushed through the tracks and into the ground. The electric motors of the tram exert torque on the wheels to make them spin. Both the wheels and the track are made of steel, which is very smooth, making them quite slippery. The amount of force needed to move the tram forward has to be more than the gravitational force pushing it down. However, if there is no friction between the tracks and the wheels, this force is wasted as the wheels will just spin in one spot and the tram won't move. This could happen if the rail is greasy or wet. To solve this problem, the Gold Coast Light Rail carries dried sand on board. The trams spray some sand onto the rails to add more friction. This increased friction makes the wheels and tracks less slippery, allowing the wheels enough grip to transfer the torque energy turning the wheels, causing the tram to accelerate. So, to get the tram to move, we have to add another force into the mix. Interactions between forces is what causes lots of amazing things to happen in our universe. So when you get home, why don't you try this cool experiment that demonstrates centripetal force? Fill a bucket with a strong handle, three quarters full of water, and get ready to spin it above your head in a circle. Do you think you will get wet? Why do you think the water doesn't fall out the bucket? Why not discuss this with your class and see if you can come up with the answer? Back to you, Libby. Did you know also that thanks to some innovative design, you'll be able to take your surfboards on board the trams. There will be four surfboard holders situated in the middle of the trams. They will be held in place so gravity doesn't try to pull them down and so you can ride the tram up and down the coast to your favourite surfing spots, knowing just how safe you'll be. Until next time on the Science Tram, keep loving learning.